Now this pair of Suratul Ala and Suratul Ghashiyah. This pair, this thing should be noted about this pair, that the Prophet ﷺ used to recite in the Juma prayer, in the first Rakah, this Suratul Ala, and the second Suratul Ghashiyah. Sometimes he used to recite these surahs in the Fajr prayers on the day of Friday. But mostly in the Friday prayers, in the first Rakat, the Suratul Ala, and in the second, the Suratul Ghashiyah. And you know the reason which will come before us, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Sabbih isma rabbika ala Glorify the name of your Lord who is most high, the highest. Allazi khalaqa fasawwa. Who created everything and then gave it the finishing touches and fashioned it well. Khalaqa a structure and then the finishing of that structure. That is tasviyah. In takhliq, the main structure is completed. But now, the finishing touches. You know, when you are going to build a house, when the structure is there, you say, perhaps the work has been completed, but then you come to know that the real work starts after that. So this is tasviya. And who has determined and limitations of everything and guided it. Every creature that Allah has created, there are limitations and potentialities given to it. It can do, do this, 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 this. It cannot do this. For example, we human beings, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us many things, but we can't fly. We invented aeroplane, etc., etc., but we can't fly. And a mosquito is flying. So this is, you know, the, the taqdeer of the species. Every species, an estimation has been fixed for it. These are the boundaries within which it has to live and work. So this is called Qaddara. And for then every, every this animal has been given a guidance. Now these guidance are, there are levels. First of all, instincts. They are also guidance. When a child is born, he knows that his food is in the chest of the mother. He at once takes that, you know, the memory gland into his mouth and sucks. Who told him? Who trained him? So this is the first guidance. The instincts, they are a guidance. Then we shall read, inshallah, in Surah Shams, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given human souls a guidance which is inherent in it, that it knows what is good, what is bad. So there are many levels of guidance. This is the final guidance. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent this book, or He has been sending the books before, this is, you know, the final guidance. But the guidance has different steps. So the hisma rabbika ala allazi khalaqa fasawwa wa allazi qaddara fahada wa allazi akhraj al-mar'a who brought forth the, the green pasture where, you know, cattle, they eat. فَجَعَلَهُ وُسَاءَ أَحْوَى But then, after some days, it turned into a black, blackening stubble. سَنُقْرِهُ كَفَلَا تَنْسَى O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we shall make you recite our Qur'an so that you shall not forget. You don't take pains in, in remembering it. We had this thing in Surah Al-Qiyamah. لَا تُحَرِّكْ بِهِ لِسَانَكَ لِتَعْجَلَ بِهِ إِنَّا عَلَيْنَا جَمْعَهُ وَقُرْآنَ فَإِذَا قَرَانَهُ فَتَّبِهِ قُرْآنَ You don't take pains. You don't move your tongue quickly to memorize it, lest you should forget it. It's upon us. We take the responsibility. We shall collect this in your mind, in your heart. And that, the same thing is said here. سَنُقْلِهُ كَ We shall recite to you, and then you will not forget. Allah MashaAllah. Accept that which Allah wills. Innahu ya'lamul jahra wa ma'a yakhfa. Surely He knows the manifest and what is hidden. Everything is known to Him. 
Everything is before him. وَنُوْ يَسِّرُوْ قَلِلْ يُسْرَى And soon we shall make it easy for you to follow this smooth path. You will be made easy for the easiness. The, the real easiness, the real ease is Jannah, where you will go and no fatigue now and nothing of the sort, no labor. Tasanu yasseroka. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make you in a way that you will reach there very easily. Wanu yasseroka lil yusra. Fazakkir in nafat is zikra. So go on reminding the people, go on admonishing them. In case reminding, profits them. Now because in Juma, the khutbah is there, and Juma becomes Juma actually due to khutbah. Otherwise, we pray four rakat in Zuhr, and in Juma we pray two. So actually the most important thing of Juma prayer is the khutbah, integral part of the prayer. And it is for admonition. It is for taskeer, it is for talim. So, in that prayer, the Prophet used to recite this surah. Fazakir in nafat is zikra. Who are reminding? In case this reminding benefits the people. Sayyaz zakkaro man yaksha. Very soon, those who fear Allah will be admonished. We'll get the reminding. You know, don't despair. Don't be disappointed. You continue on. And people will listen. Maybe somebody listens today. Maybe somebody listens next Friday. You continue the process. Keep it going. Fazakir in Nafat is Zikra. Sayyazakaru Ban Yaksha. Payata Jannabuha Ashqa. But the most wretched, the most wicked will avoid it. He will not be admonished by this Qur'an. He will not take the reminding of this Qur'an. Allazi yaslan nar al-kubra Who will then be cast into the great fire? Kubra, al nar al-kubra, the greatest fire. Why? The greatest preacher of Islam and the right path is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And even after his preaching, even after his conveying the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if somebody is not accepting, it means he is the most wretched and wicked person. So the biggest, you know, reward and punishment should be for him. Summa la yamutu fiha wa la Then in that fire, in that hell, he will neither die nor live. He will call death. Let death come to me. Let there be an end to my existence. But no. You will keep living so that you have this, you keep on tasting this chastisement. But this is no life, neither alive nor dead. So, mala yamutu fiha wala yahya. Then he will neither die in it nor live. Qad aflaha man tazakka. Verily, successful is the, is the one who purifies himself. As we read in Surah Al-Hashr, we have the Ruh and then this material existence of ours. I quoted, you know, a quotation from the Upanishads. Man is in ignorance, identifies himself with the material sheets which encompass his real self. Now if you can't purify your inner self, it is as if you have buried it in this sand. This is sand. Around this roof, this body of ours, it comes from clay, earth. So that roof has been as if buried in this clay. But whosoever purifies, develops it, his own ana, his own khudi, he develops it, strengthens it, and then, you know, he bows before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But qad aflaha man tazakka. وَذَكَرَ اسْمَ رَبِّهِ فَصَلَّى First you have to, to be fully controlling your body, your animal being, 
Your ear dog libido. Your animal instincts. You should be in full control of it. And then you go before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a full, you know, as a one piece. Not that part of you is going before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and part of you is standing, no, 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 I'm not going to submit. That is the case if you are accepting some of the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and rejecting the others. You should bow before your Lord in one piece, in totality. Ya ayyul lazir amur khuluf isilbe kaffa. Enter Islam in totality. Not keeping any part of your life, any aspect of your life, you know, away from it, exempt from it. But aflaha man tazakka wa zakar asma rabbihi fasalla. Verily, successful will be the only one who has purifies who has purified himself. And then he remembers the name of his Lord and then prays. And this is actually the picture of Salatul Jummah. In the khutbah, there is the reminding, there is the zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the admonishing, and then you pray to rakat. So this is the picture of Jummah. In this way actually, I am telling you that there is a reason why the Prophet ﷺ used to recite this surah in the prayer of Jummah. Bal tusirguna al-hayat al-dunya. This is essentially the basic disease with which we are suffering. But you are preferring the life of this day, this world. This world which is very near at hand. Akhra seems to be far away. اب تو آرام سے گزرتی ہے آخرت کی خبر خدا جانے تو you are thinking about this world بل تو سرون الحیات الدنیا here again I want to point out that disbelieving in آخرہ that is going very far off دلہ دلالا بعیدہ who says there is no آخرہ there is no resurrection there is no باس بعد الموت nothing of this all well he has gone very far away astray but one says, I believe, but he is preferring this life. That is out of sight, out of sight, out of mind. All our endeavors, striving, running hither and there, day and night, thinking about, planning about this world. This worldly life, its needs. بَلْ تُوْسِرُونَ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةُ خَيْرُوا عَبْقَى وَهَيْلْ آخِرَةً Here after is much better and also lasting one. This is temporary abode. Everybody knows. At least this thing is known to every person. Is there any person who can say, I will not die? What does it mean? I have to go from here. This is not my permanent abode. I have to go from there. But we want to keep this even idea of death away from our mind, conscious mind. As if we are saying to ourselves, the death is for others only, not for me. I have to live here. As you know, Quran says there are two places. This was the condition of the Jews. That each one of them wants to live for thousand years. The love of this life. And because this time, I let me quote the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu I fear a time will come when the, when the nations of the world will call each other upon you, O Muslims. Just as when a feast is ready, so then people are called, okay, come and have, have the meals. In this way, the nations of the world would call each other on you. The Sahaba, you know, they were very much surprised. Amin qillatin nahnu yawmazi ya Rasulullah. O Masjid al-Rafullah, shall we be on that day very little in number? He said, no, 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 but antum yawmazi in kaseer. Your number will be very great, billion and a half, but you will like 
یو نو وسا سیل یعنی فلڈ کمس دیر از سم یو نو فراتھ اوور یو بی لائک دیٹ فراتھ اینڈ نتھنگ ایلس وائی بیکاز دیر بی ڈیزیز ان یو وچ از کالڈ وہن لاکن فی کم وہن then the company is asked what is this vahan we have never heard of this disease vahan the prophet said hubb dunya wa karahiyatul maut the love of this world and the fear of death running away from death when this will overcome you then you will be like a very you know so tasty fodder for all the nations of the world in the hada lafis sofil ula verily this very teaching was in the ancient scriptures also all the ancient scriptures whether they were of nu or of ibrahim this point was central that this world is temporary the real life is the life of the hereafter so of ibrahim and abusa in the scriptures of Ibrahim and Musa alayhi salatu wassalam